Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, we're going to be talking about adding rattles to your soft plastics. Now, this can be something very effective to do, especially in murky water, dark water, or even fishing at night, because fish are relying heavily on sound and vibration to track down their food in low light conditions. They can't see very well, so they have to rely on those other senses. So when you add rattles to your soft plastics, you're increasing the chance of the fish finding your bait. So these are some rattles that I have picked up. They are made by H&H &H Lure Company. As you can see, we have a five millimeter rattle here, which is on the bigger side. And then we have a four millimeter rattle, which is a little smaller. And I highly recommend the four millimeter rattle. They work uh, pretty well for just about any soft plastic. When you start getting into these bigger ones, they will sort of alter the shape of your bait and also they will get in the way of rigging your hookup. So I definitely recommend the four millimeter rattles. This is the one I have here. You can see how small it is uh, compared to the lures and also the hook. And it has two little metal beads inside of a glass tube. So as far as rigging these up, first things first, you wanna make sure it doesn't get in the way of your hook when you're rigging up your lure. So I highly recommend rigging up your lure first seeing where the hook rests and then looking for an area that has enough meat on it that you can put the glass bead into. Now I typically like to put them closer to the head or near the middle of the body where there's a little bit more meat. So I'm going to show you how to rig them up on these standard soft plastic lures and then also on the Z-Man baits which can be a little bit tougher but I'm going to show you what I do when I do rig them up on there. So this is a zoom jerk bait a zoom super fluke and it's sort of that dense rubber material and when you put these into your bait again make sure that you know where your hook's going to rest on the bait so that it doesn't get in the way and what i like to do is you can see one side of the rattle has sort of a pointy end i don't know if you can see that there and then the other side is just round that pointy end is the end you want to put into your bait first so on these jerkbait style lures, I like to go through the bottom of the lure near the base of the head. That's a really meaty area. Also, your hook doesn't get in the way too much there. And closer to the top of the head, if you can get it in there, is even better. And kind of put it in at an angle. So I'm going to go ahead and show you here. All you have to do with these baits is just put that pointy end into the lure and just start pushing it into the head of the lure. And as you're pushing it in, make sure you get it all the way in so that once it is in the lure, the plastic sort of goes around it near where you put it into the head of the lure. So as you can see there, it's in the lure now. You can see you have a rattle in there and it's not sticking out. You don't want it to be sticking out because that will increase the chances of it actually coming out of your lure or falling out. Make sure it's pushed up all the way in there and that the plastic kind of forms back behind it to keep it locked in. Now, once it is in there, you can rig up your hook like so. And again, you wanted to make sure that rattle wasn't in the way for when you do rig it up. Just like that. So that rattles in there, hooks rigged up, and it's good to go. You can hear that rattle inside. Now, same thing for swim bait or paddle tail style lures. With these, I like to go through the top of the body near the middle where that gap would be, where the hook would go, and pretty close to the head. Again, take that pointed end of the rattle and again, put it in at an angle to the body. You don't wanna put it straight in also, it's kind of hard to put it straight in that way. So what you want to do is just find a good spot to get that rattle started. Just start pushing it into the body. Then once you get it close, another thing you could do is just kind of pinch it into there near the back. Just pinch it in. And as you can see, it's all the way in. The plastic reformed around behind it. So that keeps it from popping out. And then again, you could take your hook, rig it up, make sure that glass bead isn't in the way. These are owner uh, twist lock hooks that I'm using here, just in case you are wondering. 
And as you can see, it rigs up nicely out of the way. And that rattle is in there, ready to go. Now the rattles are also very easy to remove and I highly recommend doing so before your lure gets too destroyed that you end up losing the lure and the rattle itself. So all you have to do is just squeeze it out of the lure and it'll pop right out, as you can see there. So as far as rigging up these rattles on the Z-Man baits, it can be a little bit difficult just because of the material they're made out of. It's that very stretchy material. It's very sticky. So what I have found that works very well is to use some sort of either a screwdriver, small screwdriver, or even an ice pick that can work as well. That's about the same width as the actual rattle. As you can see, they're about the same size. And along with the screwdriver, you're gonna need a lighter to heat it up with because that heat will actually help penetrate the bait better and you can create a pilot hole for that rattle to go into. So just to demonstrate here, again, make sure you know where you wanna put the rattle on the bait, have that planned out so the hook's not in the way, and you can just heat up your screwdriver with the lighter. Once it starts smoking, it's pretty much good to go. So once you have that heated up, you can go to where you want to insert that rattle. You can see how easily that's going through the bait because it is heated up, it's going right through that bait. Again, I'm going at a little bit of an angle just so uh, the rattle sits in there nicely. Go ahead and take it out. You wanna be kind of quick so it doesn't cool down. Again, take the rattle, point it end first, and just push it into that bait like so. And once it's in there, you can kind of squeeze it a little bit and pinch it to push it down further. As long as the plastic has reformed around behind uh, the rattle, it'll help keep it in there. Once it's in there, you're good to go. So you can hear that rattle in there. Now, this is something ideally you want to do either the night before or the morning before you go out on the water. I don't really want to mess with this too much when I'm out there on the water using a lighter and all that. So definitely something you can do the night before. Again, just have a screwdriver or an ice pick, heat it up, create that pilot hole, and then you can insert the rattle into your soft plastic. So that will wrap up this video on adding rattles to your soft plastic lures. If you have any questions or comments about this, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, if you have any additional tips or some experience with this and you would like to share that with us, definitely let us know as well. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.